replays in my mind like a record player non-stop. On this particular day, I was feeding my son, and I remember the time it was 7 p.m. because we were fortunate had just gone off. Mm. The neighborhood kids, they just playing up and down the street, you don't know, some things that they do. Then I heard, boom, boom! I thought it was just firecrackers, you know, some kids play. But then, I felt something in me. It just with my soul. <clears throat> I can hear the kids, I can hear the ones running and screaming. And the urge was just pulling me. So slowly, I went to the point. I saw that name. As I went, and everyone just screaming and hollering, something was just bothering me. Didn't quite understand. Didn't quite recognize what I was feeling. And as I got closer in the direction that they was running to, I see someone laying on. And my neighbor, she's there, she's praying. And I can hear her say, hold on, baby. Hold on. As I come closer and closer, the yearning, it felt like a ripping in my soul. But y'all, some people just don't quite understand. As I got closer, I could see blood. But how can blood, a body hold so much freaking blood? It was blood everywhere. I just can not realize. And then as I got a little bit close, I see that shit. And that shoe looked like the shoe I just bought my back. You know how these kids do. They know they the bad one. Hey, they know they Air Force. And my baby wanted, you know, some little red Converse. I went and got my little man because he, he good. He a good boy. He, he can know go problem, but he maintain his grade. He up out there. So, I try to do what I can. I got close. <clears throat> the tears started rolling down my face. And I got close and I'm looking at the shoes and then I see the bed. I'm like, damn, my baby had some pants like that. Oh, look like my baby. Mm. And I got close. I realized it was my baby. <laughs> my baby. He stared up into my eyes and slowly touched my face. He said, I love you. I felt so cold inside. I felt so rigid, like time's turned still. I'm just moving so fast. And friends were just screaming and running. I just didn't know this was my fucking child. They started to pull me away from my baby. But I grabbed his red bloody shoe. My baby. My 
feel about the perpetrator? How can I expect to be going on living and my baby is gone? How can the world continue to exist and my child isn't here? I lost everything. I lost my home. I lost my children. I turned to crack. It was the only escape I could get. Because once I got to that heart, I just didn't want to be here no more. And I was praying that I would come back down. Because that feeling of reality that my child is the only nothing I could do would bring him back. <laughs> 